Okay, so now we can figure out where the light is coming from. That way we can add lighting to our character. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I kind of want to change the color of the background, to be honest with you. I do kind of like this maroon. Even though it's close to his uh, his body color, I, I kind of like it. I don't know why. Okay, so... So if we're gonna if we're gonna add color to him, if we're gonna add some lighting to him, so I'm gonna select. Well, you know what? The first thing we can do is since we're at this point, uh, we can start merging some layers. So I'm gonna merge this layer, this purple layer, and this layer. I'm gonna merge them together. Um, the shadow I'm not going to merge. What is this? Oh, that's more shadow. So I'm going to merge both of these shadow layers. So now all the shadows are on one layer. Line work. I'm going to go ahead and merge. I'll merge the teeth with the line work. Keep them together as one happy family. I could add the colors to the to the base, but I'm not going to do that yet. I might, I might add some like white or something underneath. I like to keep everything so that I can edit it if I want to. So I'm going to get rid of some of these older eyes that we tried out. And I'm going to, let's see how much these change if I merge these down. Yeah, it does, it does change it a bit. Unfortunately, let's see what happens if I merge this down. Yeah, that changes it too much. Now, if you want to merge layers, then there has to be a layer underneath it that covers what you're merging. So if I was to merge this down and merge this down, it won't change. Okay, it changed a little bit. Oh, the, re the reason why it changed a little bit is because only the... Um, the the thing is a little bit behind that eyeball but if i if i merge those with the white behind it then none of these will change then it doesn't change at all so that's just a it's it's important to know uh because i use a lot of like layers a lot of uh add when i'm doing like highlights and stuff like that but i just have to be careful because um if i'm doing a highlight and if I'm, if I'm like using a brush and like going off of the solid, the solid uh, paint behind it, then you'll have some trouble when you try to merge because if it's transparent behind what you're trying to merge, then the mode of the uh, the mode of the layer may not work. All right. So the first thing I'm also noticing is this line here. Which sort of bu sort of bugs me. I don't necessarily like how I change the colors of this line. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this is the line work. So I'm just gonna take a color close to it. And sort of blend that out. Because that looks that looks weird, I think. Blend these lines out a bit. And these look much better darker. See, the background really makes a difference in uh, what everything looks like. I do like the white, I mean the, the light rim lighting, but I want to add that in myself. I don't want to, I don't want to have that.
because of uh, because of the the line work. You know, I wanna I wanna be able to control that and have it if I if I want to. It does look really nice. Like for example, this looks like a light shining on the other side. It looks nice, but I want to be able to do that with, um, I'm going to make these lines black because they're so dark. So I'm just going to make them black. Okay, so, where did I put my add layer? I might have deleted it. Let's see if there's anything on this layer. Layer empty, great. So that's going to be our add layer. So we're going to select the base like we always do. Select the base, and go to our add layer. And I'm going to do a light, uh, let's try a light. yellowy orangish color and then we can just add our light to the back I don't want to really fill the whole thing. That's why I keep deleting. Because um, I don't want to fill the whole thing. I really want there to be a gradient of where it's really bright on the on the, the topmost layer. And then it sort of fades into then it sort of fades out. That's what I that's what I want. brush a little bigger just to kind of get some of the lighting here the lighting hitting hitting a little bit of his arm there's going to be some some hot spots. It's a little too hot. But there will be some, a few little hot spots where the light really catches. Light might catch a little bit down here. A little too much. Let me lower the opacity and lower the. But just try to, you know, just try to think of, you know, places where the where the light might come and actually hit. This is a little. I'm not too happy. I might have to go back and change this shadow. I feel like this is a little, this is a little uh, drastic here. This change in coloration, but I can't. But that's what happens. I have to sort of stay focused on the lighting, which is what I'm going to focus back on now. But it's hard to kind of keep my mind in one place sometimes because it's sort of like it bounces all over the place. But we are back on track and doing the lighting for this little guy. I think it looks really nice, actually. I'm very happy with it so far. So 
so the light would definitely be hitting his head here pretty good so I'll make sure I give that lots of love course the lighting would be coming on top of his head so I can actually be a little more generous on the top of his head since we have the shadows here And I'll actually erase back some of that lighting. And that'll really like... That'll really help the shadow. The shadow area. And I'll actually erase a little bit here. Okay, so we definitely have a pop on his nose. So we'll make that nice smooth line here. Give him that hot spot on his nose. Maybe uh, maybe a little bit of like texture. So I'll take my uh, maybe a lighter brush might work a little better. So I'll use Sketchmaster too, and I'll just sort of like go on the inside of these shapes and sort of give them a little bit of depth. Or give them some depth like that. That looks pretty good. And if it's actually catching, then it might be a little brighter. So I'll really, really brighten up, you know, where that light is hitting. And let's say that there's, you know, if this is real texture, then the light is going to be hitting it differently. So by doing these little pops of light, what it does is it, it just looks like that there's little pieces where the light is catching, which in turn will look like a, a texture. We'll give it like a nice texture. Okay. You can also give a little bit to the rim of his mouth. Okay, so where else would get hit with some light? There would actually be light coming from there, too. I mean, I put the light here, but there would also be... I feel like there would have to be like a light source up there. I'll have to do that at another point in time since that's alpha locked right now. Okay, so his little cheek. So this would probably be a little hot spot here. It's got a little bit there. And this rim would probably catch some light.
But that actually looks funny, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add it because it doesn't look right. It might just need a thinner, um, a thinner little pop of light, like a light, like the uh, light brush or something. that forehead gets hit and I'll make sure that I bring all this down all right that's looking really good I'm really happy with it so far so now I'm gonna take that sketch master brush again and I'm gonna Make sure I'm on a good layer that's in front of the line work. And I'm just going to So just like the light is catching. I just want the light to be catching on the the front part of this this eyelid that's up so high. And the part that's really getting hit, then I'll just do a little flare of light. And then I'll do some soft. Actually, it would be it would be this side that would be brightest. So sort of brighten that up a little bit. Looks a bit weird. We're just going to leave it. There we go. We'll leave it with a little bit of a little bit of light. Too much light, it just looks weird. So catch a little bit here on the rim of this. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. Add a pop of light, because the light is hitting it. I'm going to go back to Sketch Master 2, and I'm going to add some little pops of light like here. And here, I'll use the airbrush for that one. Really light. Just want to add another little pop of light hitting that um, area above his eye, eyelid, I think that's what we call it, of course. Another pop of light there. I really get this, this whole surface is being hit by light, so I'll do that. Okay, so this has this has a pop of light. So we're good there. The only other thing that I, I feel like uh, there would be a let me go pure white. Add another little pop of light there. Doesn't really look right though. Add something like that. 
and we'll just leave it the way it is. Um, technically, I should have probably put the light uh, here on the other side. But I like I like these lights too much, though. But I might still be able to salvage it. Let's see. If I select, if I select this, I might be able to bring it to where it's supposed to be. I'll just turn that. Make it a little smaller. And I'll do the same thing for the other one. still look the same hmm not that crazy about the pops of light up there to be honest with you I feel like they need to be smaller if they're gonna be up here Let's see if we can add some, let's see if we can add some love to these lights. No, you know what, I like the other lights. I'm not going to be too much of a, a stickler. They're not really in the right spot, but they look good, you know? Sometimes uh, that happens. Okay, so moving on from that, I'm going to go back to our add layer up here. And uh, this, is, this is one of the issues that I was mentioning before. Um, now, I want to do, I want to do, um, I'll just show you what I want to do. I want to take the light brush. And now I'm not selected anymore. I don't have this layer selected. I want to take the light brush and... And I kind of want to add pops of hair like that. And when you add this, when you, when you, right now I'm using, um, I'm using the light pen. One of my favorite tools, the good old light pen. I'm turning it upside down because it makes my, uh, it gives me a better angle to like do what I want to do. Uh, you know, to, to draw the, the, these kind of like markings. So I'm using the light pen on an add layer because it really just breaks breaks up that surface. So like if the light is hitting it, it's gonna make it look like it's uh, like hair. So it's it's really giving it some some place to land on. I'm really glad this worked out. I was getting kind of nervous after that paint layer with that purple and that orange. It looked really bad, but I mean, I, I mean, I know that it always looks bad early on. That's just how it is. But since I'm not that good with color, I always kind of second guess if I'm choosing the right color if it's going to look right. But usually after after the lighting, lighting makes such a difference. And also I can edit the uh, the way that I do it. I mean, as I showed you, like I can just edit the color if I if I didn't like it. And there's also a few other tricks that I do after I do all of this. So I'll show you those as well. Yeah, it's easier for me to do. It's easier for me to lower the opacity. 
opacity a little bit. I don't want to go too bright. I just want to show that the light is catching on hair. So I do have to unfortunately draw every single hair. But it looks good when you do that. You know, there's like, there's no way to fake it. I mean, I guess I could use the hair, one of the hair brushes. Let's see if that works. But I find that they just, let's see, there's one that, I, that I've that i used before that I liked. Let's see if I can, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get it working. Um, Touch-ups. Get these hair brushes. Um, no, they're not really working well. Fine hair. I mean, I guess, I guess fine hair could work. But anyway, I prefer to just do light pen. Where'd you go, light pen? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There it is. I prefer to do light pit, light pen, and just add the hairs in manually. Just better, um, better randomization of where they're going and things like that. Oops, got a little overzealous here. Get into the tail and get excited. All right. Okay, I think that's, I think that looks great so far. I'll just add a little more of these. Fine hairs that the, that the light is getting, uh, that the light is hitting. and lower the brush size because up here by his head I just want them to be really fine but I want to make sure he I want to make sure he has the, the hair up there okay so we'll add one or two Flyaways, just to give some some uh, deviation from all the normal. So there was a pop of light here, I think. There's a little bit of. The light is catching a little bit on his arm there. Maybe a little bit on his leg. Just a little bit on his little, his little leg. Okay. Maybe a little bit here.
All right, let me add a little bit to this part of his leg. All right, so <clears throat> like we were saying before, um, this is, I wanted to be able to add the light layer if I want to add it. I don't want to be forced to add it. So essentially now I'm putting the light that's that's hitting the the other side of their uh, of their skin and it's sort of it's sort of just curving around so that the light is hitting over here as well. Some light on the leg there. So we'll give a lot of light to this nose area. This is definitely gonna, gonna be getting hit. And I'll actually add a little bit more Sorry, I, I keep forgetting to check the check the screen to make sure it's not uh, too bright to see. So hopefully, hopefully it wasn't too bright earlier. It's always something. If it's not the battery, it's something else. Some light, some light might catch there. Light pen. Let's see what happens if I do some light pen action on his eyeball. Let me bring make the uh, light pen a little smaller. That actually kind of helps my cause, the uh, the good old light pen on the outside of the on the outside lens. That actually helps my cause a lot. So essentially, this is just like the the sun shining, or not the sun, but the light source shining off of the you know, that, that clear part that's in front of our eyes. So it sort of gives that impression that that's there. That's great. I'm glad I, I'm glad I figured that out. Um, add a little bit of pop here. We can add a little bit of a uh, add a pop here. And then we can just add some I'll add some lovely little flyaways. That's looking, that's looking real nice. I'm happy with that. Okay, so we're doing pretty well here. 
The only other thing that I think we can do, well, there's a couple of things, but I might have to make another video after this with just like touch-ups and uh, like finishing touches type, type situation. I'm going to go back to our add layer. And I'm going to actually do like a touch of red. I'm going to see how that looks. I'm going to see how that looks on the right side. It's a little too bright. I don't really like it that much. Um, okay, so I'm pretty happy with the shadows. I always like to see what would happen if I double it. And I think if I add more shadows, it's just like a little bit too much. Um, that might be good. So I'll do that. So I'm going to merge the shadows and the and the, um, let me make sure there's nothing else I wanted to do with the body. Uh, there is something else I wanted to try. I wanted to try something with white. So I'm going to alpha lock. to see what it would look like if I if I added like a white thing underneath I don't know why so it looks funny if I do it that way but let's see what it looks like if I do it um, softly Yeah, it looks weird underneath because I don't really need anything. I don't need any more white underneath, but am I on the add layer? Let me go back to the add layer. It might actually look nice, though, if I do it this way. If I add a little bit of add layer here where that's getting hit... This part is getting hit a little bit. This is getting hit. There's just little... Oh no, I don't like that actually. Maybe with the light pen it'll be better. Just to show like a little bit of a... to show a little something there a little change in the in the direction of the hair or something like that all right the only thing else is he might be a little bit darker um, under where the I'm just, I'm just gonna select this part so I don't mess up anything else Might be a little, a little darker under here. I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. Um, 
Okay, so this looks good for eyes. I think I'm going to do another video with just like touch-ups and uh, just little, or maybe I should just do it with this video. That's probably the smarter thing, right? I don't think I need to do a whole other video. Yeah, I'll just finish it off here. So I'm just going to do finishing touches. Uh, one thing I notice is there's no bottom eyelid. So uh, firstly, I'm going to merge these. I like to I like to watch while I'm merging them just to make sure that nothing changes. Okay, so this is the line layer. Um Yeah, before I before I merge down the line layer, I want to change I want to change this color. this looks bad which I thought I already did but I guess I didn't I guess I didn't get rid of that ugly white line light uh, line layer all right that looks a lot better okay so now, um, let's see, where was I? Actually, I'm, I'm going to use that brush that we were that we were looking at before. What was it? Touch-ups. I feel like I can find a little bit of a use for it. If I can make it bigger. I feel like I can use it to add a little bit of texture, like here. Oh, oh, ugh. That's too big. Maybe that's not going to work. I just want to add a little bit of texture. I guess it's not bad, but it's really like... Long hair. What's that look like? None of these really give me the right, um, the right look, like light pen does. Light pen is just the bomb. I mean, it's a lot more, it's a lot of extra work, but, you know, I really want it to look... Like it needs to have this texture or else it's just going to look flat. Okay, I just felt like that needed a little bit more. Because I, I, I just want it to look like his, uh, you know, his whole upper body has this like sort of hard... Uh, bristly hair on it. Okay, that looks that looks good. I'm happy with that. Oh, you know what might be cool? I'm having a little too much fun here. That's what happens. Um, what color do I want to make them? Maybe like a... I feel like he might have... Um, Actually, no, I think, uh, I think Sketchmaster 2 is good for this kind of thing. Uh, maybe they, maybe they need to be lighter. Let's see what they look like if they're lighter. a little bit of like kind of texture to their skin but I guess it looks a little bit weird I probably should have done it um, 
on a on an earlier layer, but that's okay. We can always add a little bit of um, we can always add a little bit of texture like this. Oops, it's a little bright. Let me lower the opacity. You can always add just the slightest bit of texture. When it starts looking like too smooth, I really like to give it some texture. And I can even add some light pen here. I lower the opacity. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Still recording, 48 minutes. Uh, what else did I want to do with this little rascal? Um, so I wanted to do one last. So I'm going to merge this line layer. So they are now merged. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to do was fix this I excuse me so I wanted to make this dark here bring this part out and then I'm actually going to go back to my go back to this layer here I'm actually going to add some I didn't really work out the way I wanted it to work out um, basically let's see how do I pull this off oh I think I know what I have to do I might have to just add some another black line down here And then I'm going to go back up to that, and I'm going to try to separate uh, Why is this not working? Oh, because I'm still in black. That makes sense. And I want to do a pop here, like the, the light is catching on his eyelid as well. Let's see how that looks. Doesn't look too bad. And if it's caught, if it's touching his eyelid, then I can put a little bit underneath. To sort of give, to sort of have it look like he has a uh, an eyelid there. It looks a bit weird though. Does look a bit weird. That actually works. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I can I can I can dig that. But I don't really like it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. That's okay. I'll make it a little bit lighter like that. That works. Yeah, I think that works. Um the only other thing that I noticed is maybe a little more now I obviously I'm going a bit overboard here, but this is just what I do. Um like I'll just go overboard. So right now I'm just adding a little bit of darkness uh, beyond his eye where that bend is. Just to show like, you know, where that, where that little bend is there. Color that whole bit in. And then maybe 
This is the back part of his jaw. Okay. I'm not going to move his eyes around, so I'm just going to I'm going to merge his eyes. Unless I want to change the color. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at his different color options here for his eyes. Ooh. I love that. I love being able to change their eyes. Their eye color. All right, we'll stick with the we'll stick with the hazel for now. We'll make one um Nah, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it hazel. So we blend those. Blend those. Blend that. Blend that. What is this layer? I don't know what that is. What's here? Uh, empty layer. Great. I'll put that on top. Blend this. One thing that I don't like about this is this whole thing right here. Uh, that's something I definitely need to work on. This is too flat. It kind of looks like it's like putty or something. I definitely have to work on that and, and work on making that more uh, realistic. Uh, probably by bringing this down and just not having it so putty like here. That, that part really bugs me. But other than that, I think I'm I think I'm good. I think I'm happy with it. Um, because there's always more there's always more detail oriented things that I could do, you know, like you know things like things like this softening up some of the bristles. But for the most part, I think I'm good. Now let's see. This is what I was talking about before. So the outline will probably change. Let's see. Yeah, see the outline. The outline changes because there's there's no sol There's nothing solid outside of some of these strokes. Unfortunately, so I won't be able to. Let me redo that smudge. Whatever that smudge was. So I won't be able to really um, change that, but that's okay. This is really bugging me though, this thing right here. That's the only thing that's really, really, really bugging me. Oh, there is something else that I wanted to do though. Can't believe I almost forgot. going to I'm going to end this I'm going to make another video because um, this might take another this might take uh, a long time because you know now I'm just having fun with it and I wanted to do a little something with the background so but I'm going to make another video so let's keep it moving I'll see you in the next one